It's Valentine's Day 2023, and I figure I'd use this usually special day for many others to explain to my subscribers the big question of why Mashiro Tsukino is my personal number one favorite visual novel heroine. If you don't know who she is, Mashiro is a short white haired heroine from a visual novel called Making Lovers, developed by Smee. It released in Japan in 2017 and got an official English translation by Nekonyan in 2020. Making Lovers is a moige or a light-hearted, romance-heavy visual novel with heavy emphasis on comedy. One of its biggest appeals for me personally is that half the heroines are actually adult age and at least 20 years old and have jobs and stuff, which is already a huge rarity in the visual novel romance genre. Thankfully, Mashiro is one of those characters. So back in April 2020, I was in a rewrite discord and one of the mods did an April Fool's joke replaced all the rewrite character roles with characters and replaced them with characters from Making Lovers since it was going to be released in English in that month. My favorite visual novel heroine at the time, Kotori Kambe from Rewrite, got her role replaced with Mashiro, and I guess that's since I guess that's who the mod thought was the most similar. That alone intrigued me, even though I know it was could have just been a stretch. But when I actually started reading Making Lovers, it turned out to not be a stretch at all. In fact, it almost seemed like Sumi researched my tastes and made a heroine that was tailor-made for me. So back when Kotori was my favorite heroine, I didn't know the quirky weirdo girl was even an archetype. I kind of just assumed someone like Kotori was just something special and honestly she wasn't that quirky. Though it turns out Mashiro was the one that made me realize this is the archetype I apparently like the most. Now this doesn't mean I like all quirky or weird girls the most automatically. But if it's done well, like Mashiro, that's usually a good sign. So what is it about Mashiro's quirkness that's endearing to me? Well, for one, I just think she's hilarious. I think some people just consider her humor style a little too random. However, I consider it quite the opposite. Her cleverness and unpredictability actually ends up making her jokes land a lot harder. Related to that, for some reason, it's hard to find a visual novel or anime heroines who actually have a natural good sense of humor. Many times, if there's humor related to an anime or visual novel girl, usually the show or novel makes fun of a personality trait or some kind of mistake they did in the show. However, with someone like Mashiro, who's purposely trying to crack jokes on her own, especially the savage and punny ones, that just makes her a lot more naturally endearing to me. When I was a beginner anime weed, I thought Genki girls were my actual type, but then I realized over time that they tend to be extremely hit or miss. Some could be really funny or cool, some really freaking annoying. Using Making Lovers as an example, I think Reina is an example of one of those Genki girls that while I don't outright dislike her, I just thought she was a missed opportunity because her Genki was a little too focused on her being a bit too bratty and forceful. In Mashiro's case, her energeticness was more of a genuinely getting excited over her interests and letting other people know, which I, once again, thought was much more endearing. Also, I just think her quirky, random personality fits extremely well with the main character, Kazuma, because they have enough similarities to where they can bounce their jokes off of each other to the point where they kind of switch off being the straight man and the clown very often. The next thing I want to bring up is how surprisingly proactive, if not outright assertive, Mashiro is about the romance. Now, I won't exactly spoil her how she asks the main character out, but I'll just say it would very likely weird people out in real life. However, I believe it was incredibly endearing, and I would totally say yes. Her so-called lover rules were pretty a nice way for her to take a unique approach on making sure the romance worked. She could be a bit forceful with them at times, but at least it showed she had her own ideal ways she wanted the romance to turn out. It was a subtle way of showing she was taking the romance seriously in between her usual quirky jokester act. The next thing I want to bring up is a lot more smaller, physical, detail-oriented stuff. So I would say she definitely has a very unique clothing style, because it's sticking out especially compared to other heroines in Making Lovers. I quite like her unique fashion. It's fitting of her while still being fairly feminine enough, though I do all admit I quite like the short shorts. One thing that's especially nice to me is that she's a gamer girl. Gamer girl heroines are becoming a bit more common in both anime and visual novels, but her being that on top of the personality traits I already talked about just makes her even better to me. If anything, I thought they could have expanded more upon her gamer girl tendencies during the main story. At least there is a whole chapter in her route that was basically all about discussing her taste in video games and even otome visual novels. 
I also did appreciate that funny skit in the fan disc where she gets excited over a first person shooter DLC. It also says something when she sings nerdy songs during a karaoke date. I also like her taste in food, like how she tends to ha have french fries when she goes to a bar to chill. French fries are one of my personal favorite foods, by the way. Now if I rated Masho just based on what I've talked about so far, she'd be a really good character. But what really helps send her towards the top is how surprisingly well done she is as a character outside of that. Basically, one thing I tend to like about SME romances is how wholesome they tend to make the character development at times when they're not focusing on the comedy. Mashiro has several points throughout the visual novel where she shows a more vulnerable side related to a bunch of her little insecurities she has, and while maybe she's not always the best at openly expressing them, when she does, you can tell how she's feeling and how relatable, relatable some of her issues can be. That just helps her feel more like an actual person and not just some goofy caricature. As much as I like someone like Sheena from Sankaku Renai, uh, someone like her is a little bit too focused on the comedy, and which, I mean, don't get me wrong, is great for the hilarity, but it felt like her actual character and romance development was a bit too shallow for my liking, so it didn't quite push her up to one of my all-time favorites like Mashiro. I'm going to use this final section for the people who remember me as the Kotori Kanbei from Rewrite fan before 2020. Kotori is definitely still one of my top favorite heroines in any weeb media. In terms of stuff she has over Mashiro, I would say I slightly prefer her design more. While Mashiro has some pretty funny English, I definitely still consider Kotori the English queen. I mean, it says something when I compiled a video of almost all of her English quotes from the rewrite of visual novel series, even when she wasn't my favorite visual novel heroine anymore. Of all my favorite heroines, Kotori is probably still the deepest character of them all. However, focusing on that depth did make her romantic development a little bit slower to compensate. And that is admittedly one of the things that helped to push up Mashiro to my personal number one favorite. While she isn't quite as deep as Kotori, she had enough parts that were interesting about her to make her a deep enough character while still keeping the romance at the forefront of her story. And of course, what helps are many of the little things I mentioned earlier, like how she's actually adult age, how she has similar interests to me, and there's just never really a dull moment around her. I said earlier, it's great to have someone who is quirky and hilarious as her, while still having plenty of moments to show that she's both relatable and could feel like a real person. Anyway, that's about it for this fairly long rant about my favorite visual novel heroine. Hopefully you enjoyed this Ange special for Valentine's Day. If you have any comments related to this video, feel free to leave a comment below. P.S. Mashiro is hot.